For almost 120 years, Fordham University has been competing in men's basketball. The past 96 in the historic Rose Hill Gym. Over that time, many greats have donned the maroon and white. From Fordham's first All-American, Bob Hassmiller, to Ed Conlon, still the school's all-time leading scorer and rebounder, who led the Rams to their first ever NCAA championship bid in 1953 under Hall of Fame coach Johnny Bach. To Charlie Yelverton and Kenny Charles, who led the 1970-71 team to new heights with a third place finish in the NCAA East Regionals and a 26-3 record. To the 1991 and 92 Patriot League Championship teams. to the move to the Atlantic 10. But the one constant over all these years has been the passion and dedication of the Fordham basketball fans. Fordham has pulled it off. They stormed the court at the Rose Hill Gym. Rams have beaten their local rival, the St. John's Red Storm, 84 to 81, the final. Anderson wants it himself. Step back, got it. And we're bringing that excitement back, and it starts with Kyle Neptune. Welcome to Rose Hill. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the historic Rose Hill Gym on this historic afternoon for Fordham men's basketball. I'm Andrew Bogus. Thanks so much for joining us. Before we meet the new Fordham men's basketball coach, Kyle Neptune, some opening thoughts today from University President Father McShane. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to welcome you to the historic Rose Hill Gym. For today, we have an announcement which is an important announcement for the university, for our athletics program, and in a special way for men's basketball. He is a Brooklyn native, therefore a native son of New York. After his time in Brooklyn, he went to Lehigh where he played for the Mountain Hawks. After that, he entered the trade, the profession, and he did his internships or his journeyman's time at uh, Hofstra, Niagara, and finally ended up at one of the marquee programs in American basketball, namely Villanova University on the main line outside of Philadelphia. While he was there, he established himself as a great force for their program. He was a great recruiter, indeed an unparalleled recruiter for them. Uh, he, made his, uh, he made his name for being someone who was really good with the players. He knew them, he took them seriously, he watched over them. And throughout this period of time, ladies and gentlemen, he was someone who worked with and was mentored by one of the elite coaches in American basketball, and that is Jay Wright. So when we were looking for a new coach, we had certain things in mind. We wanted someone who knew the New York scene, someone who was a good recruiter, someone who engaged players well, someone who would mentor players even better. And we found all of that in Kyle Neptune. It is really for us a great joy that he is with us. He will bring our men's basketball program to new heights. He will strengthen what we do for not only the program, but for the players who are the heart of the program. He will mentor them, he will champion them, he will bring them along. And so for us at Fordham, this is a great day, a day that I am happy to share with you because it's a day when I can introduce you to a great gentleman, a fine coach, and the newest member of the Fordham basketball family, Kyle Neptune. Now, without any further ado, it is time for me to welcome for the very first time to the Frank McLaughlin family court, the new Fordham men's basketball coach, Kyle Neptune. Congrats, Coach. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a very dramatic entrance. I feel like we're on The Tonight Show or something. Welcoming you in. That's my song. <laughs> uh, I, I remember growing up uh, listening to that song at Yankee games. Um, so anytime I hear that, it reminds me of home. So this is our first fight. I'm a Mets fan. Oh, you're boy. You're a Yankees fan. Oh, boy. But it's okay. We're closer to Yankee City. You can also be, even if you're not, just say you're a Yankees oh, I am. fan now. I am, for sure. So coach, a lot of questions to get to this afternoon, including some sent in by Fordham Faithful. But I guess the first one, 
just about you. Why was now the right time for you to become a head coach? Um, well, really, it's about Fordham. Like, this is a, a really unbelievable place. Um, I'm a New York City kid. I'm born in Brooklyn, New York. Um, and, you know, I grew up coming to this place. I, I played AAU games here. Um, as a coach, I came here to scout um, Catholic School League playoffs. And um, this is just a really special place. And, um, and I'm a New York basketball guy. Um, and it, it means something to me that New York City basketball is a good place. So um, when, I, when I heard about this opportunity, I was so excited. I'm very, very fortunate um, that uh, the people here at Fordham believe in me to, to get this done. How many similarities do you see between this program, this school, and where you're coming from at Villanova? I mean, I, mean, I, I think there's a lot of synergy. Um, you know, both being Catholic schools, um, both being in major uh, metropolitan cities. Obviously, New York, to me, is the best city in the world. Um, you know, great academics, great campus, and then honestly, um, just being around campus for the last uh, couple of days here, um, unbelievable people. Um, and I think the people make campuses, and obviously, there's, there's been, I've met unbelievable people while I've been here um, thus far at Fordham. What's the first thing on the to-do list now that this is your job and you're here? Yeah, well, I, I met, I really, it's really, it's all about the guys. Uh, I just met with them. I think we have a great group. Um, really, the first thing I want to do is just create relationships with them and uh, make sure that, that they uh, feel the love from the coaching staff and, and you know, make sure we build a bond. How do you dive into learning those guys? Do you go back and watch games from last year? You're watching practice tape. How do you actually know who's on this roster right now? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of everything. Um, you know, obviously watching film, um, but really it's going to be spending time with each guy um, and creating a real relationship. Um, it's one thing to see, uh, just watch film and see them on the court, but um, just meeting them in person and going out to eat and um, learning what, what's important to them, I think is the most important thing. Uh, our first question sent in via Twitter comes from Andrew Kiefer. Uh, welcome to Rose Hill, Coach Neptune. As you are aware, the tri-state area has a rich tradition of producing basketball talent. Bobby Hurley, Kenny Anderson, Kareem Reed. What's your approach to recruit and keep talented players from New York City here at Fordham? Um, I think it's really all about relationships. Um, I mentioned before, I'm from New York City. So um, I, I came from here and, you know, uh, people in the city have helped me get where I am. Um, and I think that I'm going to rely on those people um, to help me in the future and uh, to help Fordham in the future. So um, really it's about diving into the, the relationships and uh, I, think we, I think there's a lot of people in New York City who will be willing to help Fordham. I guess connected to that, Michael Glennon asked this on Twitter as well, what's your plan for engaging Fordham basketball with the community and the kids of the Bronx? Yeah, uh, it's something I'm very passionate about. Um, New York City, I, I mentioned earlier, is a place that's really near and dear to my heart. And um, I think w uh, we're here at Fordham, we can use our platform to help um, people in the community and bring them in and have them have, uh, we want them to have pride in, in Fordham, not only Fordham basketball, but Fordham University as well. On the court, what will a Kyle Neptune team look like? How do you want to play? Oh, man, we want to play fast, an exciting style. Um, but also we want to be tough. Um, and we want to be uh, a team that teams come in here and do not want to play against. Um, and we want them to fear coming in here to play us, whether you know we win by, or we're up or down. We want them to leave like, oh man, like I, we won that game, but uh, I, I do not want to see them again. Or we lost that game, and I definitely never want to play against those guys again. <laughs> uh, obviously to get that done, you're going to need players. Oh, absolutely. So what kind of traits do you look for in a recruit, or whether it's a freshman or a transfer? I think it really starts with character. Um, and, you know, I think it takes a, a special person to be here at Fordham. It's a special place. Um, and you have to have a certain level of character to be here. Um, so, you know, it's just going to be diving into uh, finding unique guys who, who want to be great students, want to be great men, um, and are good basketball players as well. So that, those are kind of the pillars I'll be looking for. I think the last time I checked, the transfer portal was over a thousand names. I mean, it's just, it's insanity. How do you even begin kind of going through there and seeing who might be out there that you might want to play here in the Bronx? Yeah, it, it's, it's definitely a little overwhelming. But uh, again, it doesn't matter if it's a high school kid, a transfer, or a juke. It doesn't matter who, who you're recruiting. It still comes down to finding people um, that are willing to come in and buy into a, a specific culture and willing to, um, you know, one, want to be at Fordham. 
Another Twitter, uh, Twitter question sent in by Michael Ratty. Welcome to Rose Hill, Coach Neptune. Great to have you aboard. When putting together your staff, what are some of the things you're looking for in assistant coaches? We want, again, it, it's kind of similar to uh, the, what we want about our players. Uh, we want people who are great mentors. Um, we want coaches, really good coaches. Um, and then we want great people. Um, and, and those are the pillars um, that we'll, we'll look at when we're looking to pick a staff. Um, but we also want to get experienced guys who've, who've done some things in this business who can help um, you know, bring this place to where it should be. I have Phil Martelli in my head. I've seen him win games in this building, watching him now next to Jawan Howard in Michigan. Yeah. Is there, whether a person that that ends up on your staff or not, is there an older coach other than Jay Wright that you will lean on here as you kind of learn the ropes of your first head coaching job? Yeah, um, obviously Coach Wright has been a very important person in my life. I will always uh, lean on him for his counsel and mentorship. And um, Joe Mihalik, I, I worked for him at Hofstra and uh, Niagara as well. He's another person I'll definitely lean on uh, for his counsel. Um, and then, you know, I, I have a, a lot of other people in the business that I, I would not have uh, got here if it wasn't for them as well. So um, I, I, there's a lot of people in the, the, net, the Villanova network and the Hasha and I are her network that uh, I'll, I'll lean on as well. What um, are your kind of general scheduling principles at a conference? What would you like that perfect world to look like when we get to the fall? Yeah, for me, I, I want to play exciting games. I want to get challenged. Um, I want to play a lot of high level, high level games against really good teams and possibly play some games at Madison Square Garden um, and Barclays Center and um, have the, the guys here have those, play, think about those places as a home court. Um, that's something that's very important to me. Um, and, and other than that, um, we want to we want to play uh, the type of teams that are going to challenge us going into the A10 because it's a really good conference. What about the local schools? Whether it's Manhattan, Iona, St. John's, Hofstra, yeah. do you want those schools on the schedule just to kind of be like have this little kind of inside New York City definitely, little mini tournament? Definitely, we we'll play all we'll play we'll play all those guys and. Uh, we, we definitely want to be competitive with everyone in the city. Um, I, New York City, there's, there's always a great rivalry between different teams, and uh, we want to be part of that, and we want to excel in it. We're sitting in an empty Rose Hill gym right now. Um, obviously, your hope is for this to be full and jump and packed. When you've seen this gym at full capacity and full throat, what do you think it's going to be like for an opposing player in here? Well, I hope it's nasty and tough, and I hope the fans are really hard on the other team and, uh, and have great pride in, in, in Fordham basketball and great pride in the team and uh, show up in droves. We want, we want it to be packed every night. Uh, we want lines to get in here, and uh, we want people to just have great pride in Fordham basketball. Besides basketball, a basketball coach, who is Kyle Neptune? I mean, we know, from the New York City area, Brooklyn friends, playing career at Lehigh, long run with Villanova now, but other than that, like who? Who is Kyle Neptune? Um, you, I, th I think you said it. I, I pretty well capsulized it. But I, I, for me personally, I think that um, the most important thing for me is I want to help build the type of program here where, um, the, the, first of all, the alums, especially the, the former players, are, are proud to say they went to Fordham University um, and played at Fordham. Um, I think that they're, they're the people that you play for. Um, they're the people that you know you, you have to answer to before anyone else. So. Um, I, I want to build a type of program where they're uh, proud of, proud of uh, going in. One of our Twitter questions did tack on a, a, a question B. Have you hit up Arthur Avenue yet for some good Italian I food? did. I did. Last <laughs> night I was there. Um, you know, I had to loosen my belt a little bit after I, <laughs> after I left there. But um, no, I, I've, I've been there before. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to I was there last night. I'm looking forward to uh, many, uh, many a meals on our dad. I'm glad that's one for one. That's a, a, certainly a good start. You okay. mentioned the long list of alums and former players that have come through this gym, come through this school, come through this program. Uh, some of them recorded a special welcome message for you here. Oh, no way. Let's like check that. that out. Hey, Kyle. Michael Kay here, Fordham class of 1982. I want to congratulate you on becoming the new men's basketball coach at Fordham University. Now, I don't want to put any pressure on you because that's not my way, but in the history of Fordham, they've made the NCAA tournament four times. And in my life, they've made it twice. 1971, when I was 10, and 1992, when I was out of school. So, I'm 60 years old now. I really would like to see a couple of NCAA appearances. Now, you've got experience with that coming from Villanova. 
and um, I, I think you can do it. And I will help you whichever way is possible. If you need me for anything, don't hesitate to call. Again, congratulations. No pressure, though. No pressure at all. Congratulations. Hey, Kyle. Ryan Rucco here, Fordham class of 2008. Proud WFUV alum. Uh, currently in San Antonio calling uh, the women's Final Four. Just want to say congratulations and welcome to Fordham. We are all so excited to have you. Know you're going to do an amazing job and we will be supporting you. Enjoy this journey and we got your back. Congrats, man. Hey, Kyle, this is Jack Curry of the S Network and I'm pausing from commenting and reporting on some Yankee news to comment and report on some very important Fordham news. And of course, that involves you taking over as the head coach of the basketball team. Congratulations. It's great to see a Brooklyn guy coming back home and taking over at Rose Hill. Your reputation and your resume are outstanding. I know how instrumental you were in helping Villanova win two national titles. And what you will find as we welcome you into this Fordham family is that there is a passion for wanting that kind of success at Fordham. You have alums like myself, you have students on campus, you have Fordham fans who are just aching for success on the hardwood. And I know that Eddie Cole, the athletic director, believes that you are the man who can deliver that. I can't speak to a Villanova guy, who's now a Fordham guy, without telling you one quick story. So in 1985, when Villanova won its first national title, I was a junior at Fordham, living in A House. We watched that upset and we said, we need to experience what it's like to win a national title. We drove from the Bronx to Philly just to get onto the Villanova campus to be able to feel as if we were some part of that celebration. That's the kind of passion that exists in this Fordham family. We want to be able to have that kind of success in the Bronx. I don't want to have to drive to Philly. No offense to Jay Wright. But once again, congratulations. This must be a dream come true for you. And I hope that there are more dreams to come true for you. Hey, Coach, it's Mike Ham from the NFL Network. I just wanted to say congratulations and welcome to the Fordham family. We're thrilled to have you. I cannot wait to see the Rose Hill gym rocking. Best of luck in recruiting and go Rams. Hey, Kyle, it's Chris Carino, radio voice of the Brooklyn Nets and proud alum Fordham class 1992. I'm coming to you from your hometown here in Brooklyn. So great to have you in New York City. Congratulations. Welcome to the Fordham family. Best of luck. Can't wait to see you at Rose Hill. Kyle, hi. Jack Armstrong, Toronto Raptors. Proud graduate on two occasions from Fordham University, my bachelor's and my master's, and also a proud former assistant coach from 1984 to 88 with Tom Penders and Nick McCartrick. Kyle, welcome to the Fordham family. I know we had the opportunity to meet uh, when you were an assistant coach at Niagara University, where I was a coach for 10 years, and you're a tremendous young coach, and I'm really, really excited about your future at Rose Hill. It's a wonderful place. You're going to have a great run there, and you're going to take the Rams to new and greater heights in the Atlantic 10. Congratulations. All the best to you and your family, and particularly to a fellow Brooklyn guy. Gotta love it. Brooklyn in the house and Brooklyn in the Bronx. Go Rams. Kyle, all the best. Hey, Coach. You have no idea how excited we are that you are coming aboard as our new men's basketball coach. Uh, someone of your coaching ability, your credentials, the resume, and New York City roots, exactly what we needed, exactly what this program needed. And we know you're the guy who's going to take this program back to prominence. Uh, I'm already picturing you and Ed Cole raising some trophies together in the near future. And hey, some of that Jay Wright Villanova magic coming over with you can never hurt. Uh, and hey, also, it never hurts to have a couple of family members working in media. So just know that we always have your back. We're all here ready to support you and the program in any way we can. So a big welcome to you and your family. Wishing you all health and much success. And I look forward to meeting you in person, Coach. All the best. Thoughts for Coach. And 
Uh, so it begins, no pressure, Michael K just needs another NCAA tournament. So oh, as soon as you man. can, figure that out for him. That's awesome. You also, you reacted to Jack Armstrong, I think more than anybody else. What, seeing Jack pop there made you react like that? Well, he was at uh, Niagara um, as a coach for a number of years. And I, of course, spent some time up there, three years as an assistant coach. Um, and he, he was involved with the program and he would come by. So I, I did, uh, I have met him a, a couple times. We have a little bit of a relationship, so it was good to see him. I should have asked you this from the beginning. You look great today. We know how, how good Jay looks on the sidelines. What's the suit kind of guidance that you get from Jay when you get on the Villanova staff? Um, well, Coach, uh, Coach, Coach Wright is a, obviously a very snazzy dresser. <laughs> um, he's, he's known for that. Uh, I think he takes great pride in that. Um, uh, he, he definitely takes care of us a little bit in, in that regard, so I'm very fortunate to have a mentor, not only on the court, but uh, in, the, in the dressing department as well. Well, our next video comes from currently my favorite basketball coach here at Fordham, but I'm, I can be bought coach, so okay. whatever, you know, we're, we're that's on the table that. for you. Um, you know her well, Villanova oh, ties yeah. as well. Uh, it is the longtime women's coach here, the awesome Stephanie Gately, who wants to say hello and congrats to you now as well here. Hey, Ram fans, coming here from 34 Street Courts, where I know Kyle will find some great players. But really, I just want to congratulate Ed Cole, the entire search committee. There were so many great candidates, and I think we've picked a true winner in Kyle. I'm excited for you to be part of the Ramily, even though we both come from Nova Nation. I'm excited for us to, to work together and be part of the Ramily. I want to challenge everybody now, go get your tickets now. You know, Maroon Club, get involved. I think there's, you know, such excitement on campus. I can't wait to work with you, and I wish you all the best. Go Rams. Thanks, Coach Gately. And thanks everybody for watching us here today on our Ford of YouTube page and Twitter as well. I know coach, you're super busy. You gotta shake hands, meet more people, maybe go back to Arthur Avenue, so we'll let you run. Congrats again, this is a wonderful place. I love it, I'm super excited for you to be the head men's basketball coach here at Fordham. And like everybody said, I think it was Jack Curry. Hopefully this is a dream come true and there's more dreams to come true for you as well here in this position. Thank you very much. And I want to, uh, I want to thank Mr. Cole and Father McShane and the search committee. Um, I, I couldn't be more excited to be here um, and I'm excited to get going. Well, congrats again. That is Fordham's new men's head basketball coach, Kyle Neptune. Thanks to everyone behind the scenes for putting this together here this afternoon. Again, congrats to Coach, to Ed Cull, and to the university on finding Coach Neptune here to run the men's program. Again, for our entire crew here inside the Rose Hill Gym, I'm Andrew Bogish. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon here for more Fordham basketball from inside the historic Rose Hill Gym.